Hi, this is Dave Mosher, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com. If you haven't been there yet, it's a cool site, check it out. Uh, before I give you guys the weekly preview this week, I want to tell you about a few things that have happened the past couple weeks. First of all, Richard Garriott went up to and returned from the International Space Station on a 10-day trip that cost him about $30 million, but he's a millionaire because he's a game designer, so he's all set, I think. Also, the Armadillo Aerospace Corporation company, I can't remember the exact title, but they won $350,000 for the Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge. Now, this is a challenge sponsored by NASA to demonstrate moon landing technologies, and they won for the first time in a couple years. So, that's really cool. Congrats to them. Also, um, the Hubble Space Telescope is now working. It was broken a couple weeks ago, actually, because of a bad computer. We did a video on Discovery Space. If you're in the Space Disco blog, which is the blog I run for the site, I'll have a link down there for you to, to take a look at. Anyway, it's all fixed and it's working now, and they can proceed with the servicing mission 4, which is the last one, to the Hubble Space Telescope. So that's a good news for NASA. Now for the weekly preview. On Monday, October 27th, which is today, you guys can check out a student guest post on the Next Generation blog about turning moon dust, known as regolith, into asphalt. That's really important because you can make your moon base out of it, and uh, some people think turn it into oxygen and, and water, so that's really cool. On Tuesday, I've got a slideshow for you on space art, all the cool animations and illustrations you see that we take for granted. On Wednesday, I have a interview, an IM interview, with the makers of Blast, which is a movie about a telescope strapped to a balloon sent to the edge of space. Uh, it's, it's really cool, and I happened to see a screening of it last week, so I wanted to interview the maker and one of the stars. And they're both brothers, actually, so it's a pretty cool interview, and definitely check that out on Wednesday. On Thursday, I'm going to do that top 10 weirdest things in the universe I promised last week, since it's obviously uh, this coming weekend is Halloween, so I wanted to bring that to you this week instead of last week. And finally, I've got a space photo quiz for you on Friday, among other things, so be sure and check space.discovery.com, and thanks for checking in.